final races. All right, both these racers should be well and warmed up. Already got one race down. Yeah. Yeah, they should be warmed up, and it looks like Abu's certainly warmed up with that sub seven. Here we go. And in a moment, they're going to be off. This is our loser's bracket, best of three. Beware. Yeah, sorry, tough. That's a bit tragic. Ooh, the money bombs here. You love to see these bombs early. But maybe those aren't the mm. right barrels to break. I don't know. You could I reset don't know if I run that ones. either. Yeah. I mean, That's you got, a lot you of got time, a shovel. Though. You got a shovel so you can open up the, the blood shop, which is coming up here. But you're still down that bomb, which is what you want in the blood shop, right? For oh, the easy the, kill. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to get this dragon to open it. Oh, but you got blood drum to open the back, or blood shovel. Nice. A lot of weirdness happening here. Oh, that's nice. Bring a okay. mic. Okay. Now, what do you do? Do you go for the kill? I, I, I think, think your chances of it failing is much lower, because can he teleport to the top area? Or is that yeah, that's true? right. But your your dagger's getting thrown all the way up to the top, right? <laughs> Well, you can throw it to the side. Oh, that's scary. It's so scary. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, we're going to do a throw oh, here, though. Bookworm goes for it. On the glass? I okay. think that's safe, though. I think that is yeah. safe. Yeah. going to keep it. So we're going with a glass build there. Uh, two damage. Yeah, this is interesting. So the glass staff versus the two damage non-glass staff. I think I like Abu's better. <laughs> well, if I... If Bookworm should have went full jaw. Offense. Oh, you think? Yeah, because then you're lasering and one-shotting everything. Yeah, but well, you're doing that anyways hit. with five damage. Eh. Pretty much. Aw, uh, you can't not, laser this. Not shopkeeps. <laughs> <laughs> but you couldn't anyways, even with the job. Oh, yeah, like shopkeeps. Yeah, the food shop, though. Yeah. And not this dragon, obviously, but still. I feel like that's just one more piece of the build you have to swap out eventually. <laughs> that's a lot of yeah. monkeys. That's okay. The monkeys don't really matter when you have this much damage. Whether you use a beat to shoot them or use a beat to knock them off when they jump on you, it's fine. Now, Abu should have checked purple there. Unless they're not comfortable with staff, but that keeps Bookworm. Uh, oh, yeah. Thinking on what they need to choose. And they check purple. Oh, no oh, way! Oh. <laughs> What the heck? Oh, yeah, it no. failed. Oh, what the <laughs> heck? Oh, man. That's why you check purple and then just randomly transmute oh, yeah. for wonder. Okay, that was it. <laughs> if that wasn't a commentator bless, I don't know what is. That's insane. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that. That was great. That carrot, and who said the carrot was going to save the run? Who was that? Monster Racer. <laughs> this carrot could win them the race. Well... Good call. Because, yeah. <laughs> that, uh, not well, having that, that carrot left on the ground is exactly how that worked. I mean, it, it's not, like, guaranteed here. We still need to get off this glass weapon and find some spells. That's true. Which it's is, just really nice to have that. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, it's, what, plus two damage, bunch of defense, uh, regen on the floor. And Charisma. it's just another staff. I mean, you take it if you're bookworm, but hope you guys are comfy with staffs. Okay, there's grenades. And it looks like uh, Ooh, nice bookworm's going to miss those. I wonder how spooked you are right now if you're, you're Abu. Oh, bookworm, though, with uh, quartz armor, though, is going to be, I think, okay with that staff in zone four. You just heal it all up. Well, that was awkward for Abu. Yeah. The slip all slide and awkward. then frozen <laughs> on the ice. <laughs> I don't think that's how physics works, but that's fine. <laughs> I feel like you would just slip more <laughs> if you're ice oh, on Abu's ice. taking hits. Yeah, Abu's looking scary. No regen here. Whereas, oh, this bat though. What are you doing? Come oh, back. look at <laughs> come on. The clap a, that clap extreme a bodyguard. Adventure. Yeah, <laughs> that was, that was great. like a full trilogy that adventure bat went on. That wasn't just the <laughs> one. Holy moly! Oh, Bookworm taking a hit. 
break in uh, the oh, glass shovel, shovel gone. and like you had said, they you know they still have more they need to get out of this build. Uh, piercing. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Piercing's not a bad take here. Not having to deal with blade masters. Ah, uh, that oh. worked. Oh. Abu goes down. <laughs> Get that yeah. replay. Um, Poltergeist needed to in the attack wall. it. I think they were dead no matter what. No, they yeah, hit Yeah, I think they're time. dead. I don't know. I think they're dead. Because if not, the harpy was going to hit them. And yeah. Zone ghoul, yeah, zone four ghoul is actually unfair. Well, with the staff too. And yeah, it is not over. No goo boots. It's a bit scary. What are we doing here? Bookworm is going to the shop. Okay, cool. cool. <laughs> we'll play procedures. Other armor? Probably. Ah, uh, no. I think you stay on courts. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Wonder gives you a uh, gives you plus defense, two, right? Doesn't it? I yeah. mean, that still kind of works with courts, but you're gonna take a full heart if it's bigger than whatever one and a half hearts or something. I have a hard time doing that math quickly. I don't. I don't really know. Right. <laughs> uh, dagger of phasing. Okay, that's four damage oh. dagger. Nope. Yeah, Wait. don't oh. throw that. <laughs> Swapped it out just to kill that line of enemies. <laughs> Very nice. Or you go the the full yellow and throw your phasing dagger <laughs> into the into the exit room, and your dagger's in the wall, and the warlock teleports you with no weapon. Yeah, that's that's, stuff. that's a thing <laughs> that you don't want to do. That's a good way to throw this run away. Now Abu <laughs> needs to find some kind of item like a carrot or something to put on the floor to get wonder oh man that was that was crazy there's... oh there's that phasing dagger monster racer oh <gasps> Abu goes uh, down. Abu. yeah just what doing it there? incorrectly just didn't do it just right moved incorrectly yeah oh yeah need to move left Oh, you can just stab Kanga just with the facing Kanga. dagger. Yeah, it doesn't have the full damage. <laughs> couldn't throw. Good job knowing that they couldn't just throw, because if they threw, that would have been real bad. Although, I guess you could Earthquake for the kill. That would have been pretty swag. Oh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> throw Earthquake. Although, I think there's a range on the Earthquake. I don't know if it gets all the way up to the throne, so if you throw, you got to move up a bit first, maybe. It would take care of the Kanga line, anyway. Yeah, that is a good strat. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think keeping phasing here for a safe... Oh, uh, you've got the safe dead ringer anyways with yours. So once again, we're going to see po possibly here a bookworm out to an early lead in their set. Especially against a much higher seed. Bookworm seed eight. Abu, I think, was three or four. Four? Yeah. Four, yeah. Oh, a mystery weapon. What is it? It's a heart. Oh. Another vault. <laughs> so many vaults. vaults all the time. And if I'm not mistaken, a vault is... Uh, if you find a vault, you don't find a potion. It's either or in the seed. I think you can get potions sometimes. In it. I feel like I've had potions in vaults. You can get the potions in the vault. Sorry, you don't get just like the, the potion closet. Yeah, oh, happens. correct. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, heavy glass will probably take you through. Okay, that's fine too. <laughs> Pretty much just tank these hits. It's half a heart from everything. Right, and you're just gonna heal it. You got Wonder Heal. Abu eating that carrot. That's the carrot you need. Didn't quake the door. Didn't quake the door. Oh, bookworm. <laughs> yeah, Abu eating that carrot means no dry baby and no ring of wonder. Good crow. Oh, you can do the uh, the dagger throw off the stage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. <laughs> Knock him off. Yeah. Get your get your loot unlocked. The one bomb. Please. Come on, Bookworm. Oh, you're so close to it. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, never mind. I mean, you still could. Yeah, you could do it there. <laughs> Rip. Oh, Dad, going clubbing. Yeah, that's a Killing hit on... young again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. Um, 
yeah, it's there's a lot of neat new strategies. They're not super new, but have been developed where uh, there's lots of ways to get the Necrodancer off the stage, whether it's fear or uprat or uh, phasing dagger throw. And there it is, Bookworm yeah, taking the game one off Abu. A GG. shocking, a stunning uh, run there. And let's see what I have as my big moment. I think it wasn't the death, it was something else. So this might not actually be the right, it might have been something Bookworm did. It was, it was this, of course. <laughs> Here it is, everybody, the big moment. Oh, yes. <laughs> boom, <laughs> boom, there it is. An insta ring of wonder, just add oh, water. So good. It's good, but it's also a little bad. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, Dorian's midlife crisis gone clubbing. Very nice. <laughs> All right, this is game two of a best of three. So danger times for Abu here. Don't want to go down in the first uh, in the first round. Let's do it. Early steak knife and a potion bad. with the bombs. Let's go. A little bit of everything. Yeah, some good stuff. Good stuff to start. <laughs> Gonna get a no blood shop on this floor, looks like. Thanks, Spooty. Spooty bringing the true facts. He's spitting those true facts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. He's, it's because he's wearing the responsible club attire, that's why. <laughs> Had he been wearing anything a little skimpier, he would be uh, definitely going to midlife. All right, we got the luck charm pickup for both racers. And a little bit of a protection charm. It's not bad. And I do like checking these crates. There's always, not always, there's sometimes good stuff in them. And uh, we got the one-two blood shop. In the shop, too. Uh, oh, you buy that shovel. Yes. Although I guess if you're going to throw and get the blood drum, you don't need the blood shovel. Or bomb and get the... Yeah, okay. Maybe not. Because Bookworm found that, that battle shovel way up to the left. I doubt mm. we'll go back for that. Yeah. Good to get that upgraded shovel, though. Really helps with mobility. Cob door is over. Hmm. Uh, okay. Yeah, so it is not the food shop. Never the food shop. I think the adventure. wrangle there would have been hard. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, because with the tier three, you have to get him to slam into it. And he doesn't just mm -hmm. pop it open. Oh, bit of a swarm here for Bookworm. Now, if you were in Bookworm's shoes here, you were up a game over Abu. What's your strategy here? How are you going to try and get that second win? Well, you got to stay within striking range. And right now, that's not happening. Um... But you can start to play a bit of a mind game. Like, yeah, staying behind Abu there, we were able to check the purple chest, and now we got Ring of Regen, which is real great. Yeah, it's a huge find, especially since Abu did not get anything out of that black chest. And yeah. uh, you want to be close enough to draft, right? Like, you want to make sure you yes. can get those maps. I think I think Bookworm did see that there was this trapdoor here. Um, and he's going to go down there. We got big bomb, throw big bombs. Nice. I, I, I guess you still kind of got to play your own game, though, here. Love that, you can't... that bomb for Bookworm was really nice. Did you see that? Yeah, the, the big bomb. Like, totally, long range. totally aware of where it was, yeah. Oh, we got the uh, Frost Dagger. Looking for that holster. Oh, oh. we are two thirds Elad repellent here on Abu. <laughs> Screen. And the holster's not too hard to find if you're looking for it. Comes out of some some shrines. A shrine. Oh, Bookworm's taking a few hits here. Found a drumstick though, so back to full health. Yeah, Abu the on the other hand, popping their potion. And that is the food shop. But Frost Dagger. Bookworm looks real lost here on three, on two, three, two, oh, two. This even. Is awkward. Gonna go into the shop. Well, that'll help. Torture walls, that's some mapping. Uh, plus one damage, too. 
I think the real downside of Bookworm's build is never finding any weapon. Yeah. As much as I hate to admit it, the Frost Dagger is better than the, the Obsidian Dagger this far into the game. Ooh, Abu checked purple there on the level 3 boss. Hmm. Maybe not trying to reveal a weapon to Bookworm with this lead. I don't know. That could be. I like that. Oh boy, Bookworm here getting a little uh. bit hugged by this shove monster. We got some Clappas coming in hot. Oh, that's a bad place to be. You're taking the hits. There goes the potion. Uh. Popped it. And the Diagonal Slimes. <laughs> that was a messy exit. That was scary. But a Blood Drum throw kills Death Metal. And I think, I don't know, is Bookworm going to check black? Yes. And it is an upgrade. Not much of one, but it is a three damage spear now. Abu's quite far ahead now, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, halfway through one or four two. That's a telemonkey. Ah, oh not a good no. One. Yeah. Kind of coming apart a little here for Bookworm. Obsidian broadsword swap. Mm. I think it's the right choice. I mean, I'm not a fan of <laughs> Digger Frost, so I'd probably switch to it. The Digger Frost is like snags built into it. You gotta, you gotta hit everything twice anyway. That's true. And there is a death for Bookworm. This one just really got out of hand for Bookworm, and of course, it was oh, a geez. brutal telemonkey. <laughs> so, <laughs> yikes! Extreme yike there. It was a good push, but that telemonkey did not leave Bookworm in a good place. Especially with sunglasses, I feel like your reaction time is pro like if you did a proper like controlled study, where you take a tell you have this identical telemonkey each time, and you have sunglasses or you don't, you're gonna react better without the sunglasses. It's just you're quicker to acknowledge what's around you without them. Yeah, absolutely. And so I feel like that's gonna play a factor when you get yourself in situations like that. Sunglasses with telemonkeys, a little scary. Okay, gonna bomb in that bloodshot bookworm trying to rebuild this build, but has a pretty mighty mountain to climb here. Luckily is up a game, so this might be going to a game three. Abu in the midst of slow play procedures. Full on to yeah. We spent almost a minute on uh, this 4-2. <laughs> and you can. It's the beauty of the screen watch. Whoa! <laughs> Make sure to open the door first before fearing Freddy. Oh, right. that'd be terrible. Yeah, fear everybody at it. Get out of the shop. Get out of here. Okay. Yeah. Long sword. I'm looking real safe now. Freddy is there, or Nick Doust is there, singing the outside of his shop this time around. He's still having a good time. Oh, it was, a, that's right, it was Telecrown into free H-plate. That is, uh, that's a good meme. Hey, look, <laughs> plate mail, just, just gobble it up. It's more Under Armour. Yeah. If only it kind of worked that way and didn't just <laughs> delete it. So very safe build right now for uh, Abu. I forget uh, our name for the, is it old sort of reliable? <laughs> is that what it was? I forget. <laughs> we had a name for the obsidian longsword. There was old unreliable old or something like courage. that. Uh, what was it? Um, bold reliable, right? Bold reliable? Bold, bold <laughs> faithful. Know. Is bold with Faithful, the, there it is. Yeah, Bold Faithful <laughs> is the uh, Courage Titanium Longsword, which is a perfect name. I'd almost switch to that Electric Dagger, maybe. it. At this point, it doesn't really matter. You, you have the build to win, just go win. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the Electric Don't Dagger really is probably slightly safer. Maybe. Yeah. Like, you, if anything, for lack of Dead Ringer's snag. Right. You'll have less snag if you're running a dagger. It's like, how, how much do we want a max min here when we could just win? Yeah. But then again, we have seen it all. <laughs> we have seen yep. those <laughs> late game true. deaths. We've seen some pretty shocking things over the years. So I don't blame Abu in the slightest for making sure they wrap <laughs> this one up. This is a pretty important match in this tournament. 
definitely the most important match Abu's played yet in this tournament, so, you know. Don't want to get... Oh, getting sandwiched by these Electro Balls. Hello. It's fine. <laughs> we got regen. We got all the goodies. Getting out of there. It's fine. Kind of funny, though. Good one, Spooty. Mold reliable for blood? Hmm. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> Ah, uh, a bookworm with the charge back into zone four already. Minute per zone's pretty good. I yeah, guess it's kind of the pace running. you'd like to be at. Yeah. Especially when you're speed running and not racing. Yep. And uh, Necro Dancer fight here. Big bombs. Big bomb. Oh, hi there, Minotaur. Okay. Dad taking a hit. Yeah, Dad doesn't isn't completely safe no. in this fight. His uh, his plate pales in comparison of the H plate squega suit Under Armour situation of Abu. <laughs> and uh, yeah, some nice lures here. Pretty much just finish the, finishing this fight up. For those who are new to this game, the Necrodancer fight itself is generally pretty easy, or at least pretty straightforward. There is some stuff to be afraid of. It's certainly not nearly as easy. Oof, look where I'm going down at the last second there. But GG, Abu. So it's certainly not as easy when you are in it at the same time as your opponent. And I'm sure you can speak to that tic-tac. If you're oh, yeah. both in the Necrodancer fight at the same time, it is sweaty. You're like doing a quick glance over to see how many hits they have, but you got to keep an eye on what you're doing. This is just one beat you'll get off, I uh, think, with your lures, and it's not going to be a good time. That telemonkey was really tragic. We'll give it another glance here. Take a close look at it. This is Bookworm's death in that last race. Jumps right on. I think it was an intentional telemonkey. But uh, yeah, Ooh, that Neon Warlock was definitely tall sprayed by that Ghoulam. Yeah, exactly. That insta dunk from the said. ogre, too. <laughs> All right, let's get back before they start. Okay, let's do this. Game three. All comes down to this. Another game three in the best of three. Yeah. And we're underway. Note the uh, delayed start. Of course, that doesn't really matter too much. So, chat if you're concerned about that. No one's getting a head start or anything of that sort. We will um, sync them up if we have to, if it's that close. All right, and Abu finding this bat closet. It's got a titanium harp in it. Not bad. Now we're beat for beat. Hey, did you see that uh, that VOD that was like absolute perfect from start to finish 1-1? One, one, <laughs> weird. The sink, yeah, it was really good. That was insane. And a little creepy. <laughs> a little creepy, but so good, yeah. Oh, really? This is not terrible. Oh, yeah. Man. We've seen so many Boots of Pain, Ring of Pains today. I love it. Uh, I'd kill oh, for that. Oh, Bookworm didn't. Right. Yeah, Bookworm, Bookworm didn't, didn't kill, kill for it. Yeah. Well, that leaves the option, though, for slow play procedures. That's I true. Guess. Yeah, anytime you kill the shopkeep, you're uh, removing a huge chunk of slow play procedures if your opponent dies. But at this level, you really can't bank on your opponent dying. Right. Oh, nice. Getting that uh, Leprechaun out of the bat. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Oh, that's a good blood shop. That is a good blood shop. Going to take the pulse and kill for it. But you don't want those weapons. So uh, it does get a blood drum, though. Abu with a little yeah. bit of leg here. Hopefully their stream didn't die. Oh, we no. don't want that to happen again. Come on. Oh, okay. Believe. It's okay. It's back. Nice. That might have actually put them back in sync. Oh, no. It's... It's dying, please. Well, this is going to be a long coral riff anyway. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Come on, Abu's internet. You got this. <laughs> it's extra like five long. Five beats and pause. <laughs> yeah. Right. I think we're back on, more or less. That does make uh, reviewing a little bit harder, did it? When it screws up like that. Okay, purple is bad. Maybe a check black uh, here. Check black. There's, well, there you gotta are check better something. pain. Yeah, you usually want to check your zone one chest. Oh. It's pretty rare to have the build. 
But you don't want a fear scroll. Although, yeah. uh, no, you don't want it. You got the blood drum. Earth tomes, swap into those. Uh, you had the blood drum. I think you We're going back for that? Yeah, 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 you keep the blood drum. Yeah, blood drum's a pretty big advantage build-wise. Both racers still at only a heart and a half. A little bit more safety for Bookworm. Do a pulse kill here for Bookworm, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, that pulse coming in big. And, of course, the boots pain. For an easy death metal kill. We're going to check purple. Gotta imagine. Ah, uh, it's not oh, good. Oh, no. Yeah. There's another purple chest. Maybe this one's better. I mean, eh. sure. <laughs> is, is there Bring some a difference here? Yeah, there is. There's a trap door. That trap door was not there for Bookworm. That is yeah. very not fair. Abu's uh, shopkeeper kill early is going to give you that variance. Oh, feels so bad about that. Yeah, oh. it's kind of rough. That's really rough. I mean, it might come back to help Bookworm later. We'll see. Oh, whoa. Oh, what up? Oh, Abu goes down. Oh, no. Tanking that now Minotaur. Now you got your slow play procedures for Bookworm. Abu, you got to get back. Oh, just didn't have... I don't know what happened there. Doesn't look like they even hit the Minotaur. They just dropped the beat. Uh-huh. Uh yeah, and here you go, Bookworm, to the shop. And it's not bad. You take that spell, too. Yeah. Sometimes it gives you a dry baby, and then you can take... Oh, uh, for a second, I thought they had big bombs. <laughs> I really did, because that was last race. Uh... I was so afraid for a moment for Bookworm. <laughs> that would have been kind of hilarious, but also extremely tragic. It yes, might have a food shop. Racer. I do remember that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I remember that too. Yeah. That was, that was uh, yeah. <laughs> Big bombs are hard to remember that you have. <laughs> it's oh, always. Oh, had big bombs last like, time. If you're not gonna. Well. It's bad when you kill the shop, but it's kind of funny when you bomb and just blow up the H plate. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Earth looking... Tones, uh deleting floor is a good stuff. Uh, you can use it on on goo as well, which is nice. Transmute not as good that time. Oh yeah, that clip's really good. I remember that clip. I don't. Is it the? Is it? Is it big bomb related? Yeah, Pantsler big bomb shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, once again, slow play procedures. We are nowhere near safe right now. That wall pig looming over on the side. I yeah, like how Bookworm took like a huge detour. Yeah, a wide <laughs> berth on that one. Uh, maybe? No, you don't kill here. I think that's right to not. You want armor. Yeah, I, I don't... After your opponent goes down, I don't think you kill at all. That's fair. Except for maybe 5-3. Yeah. Ooh, swapping off those boots, getting the plate armor, but got the glass oh. slippies for safety, plus the potion. Big play. Looking a lot safer. Uh, missing out on... I mean, I love the boots of pain, but... Goo protection is so much more important now with slow play. Right. Oh, that's a dragon. Um, Nice earth. That was good. Yeah, that was a clutch play there because they were about to lose those slippers and the shovel. Looked like that quick stairs accidentally went the wrong way because of the confusion for Bookworm. Oh, wall pig. <laughs> oh, wall pigs are terrifying. <laughs> they sure are. Right, Squaga? There's Squaga in chat. Good classic wall pig memes for Squaga. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, fireball. Yeah, that's good. Hey, salty run back here for Abu. Still just way too far behind. Not easy to catch up. 
maybe if Bookworm was playing scared, but Bookworm's got a really solid build now. Yeah, looking good. Confident deep blues kill. You love to see it. And of course, Electro Dagger, like we've said. Zone 5 Electro Dagger, very strong. Infinite damage while standing on the wire. Two damage if it goes through. I got an info card for that thing. There it is. Oh. Look at that. Couldn't fit all the information on it. You can throw it too. <laughs> you should have uh, yellow arcs in the squares. <laughs> well, that's a good idea. <laughs> One more level for Bookworm. Yeah, Bookworm here. Oh, taking a hit, oh, losing geez. their glass. Nice fireball, though. Do have that potion, but it's still a little scary. It's not a lot of hearts, even with the potion. Uh, might see ourselves an Earth kill here. Uh, you can freeze Earth with Snowbro. Nicely done. Very good. Ooh, Abu down to half a heart here on the run back. Might be time to take it a little easy. Yeah. Diagonal slimes <laughs> are hard. They'll do that. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Who even does that? Wow. I do, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a Bang. good meme. You can't deny it. And that looks like that's it for Abu's season. Amazing to see Bookworm staying in this. Bookworm's been playing really well. Managed to, uh, I think Bookworm was in the, the finals last season too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, there it is. So GG, Abu's season ends here. I'm personally Jeez. a huge fan of Abu's. Abu's wonderful streamer, fantastic racer, and, uh, Throws down some unbelievably fast plays on their stream, so highly recommend checking them out, as with all these racers in the season. But GG's, congrats to Bookworm staying in the season. Did I have a big moment on this one? Is that this seed? I think it is. Uh, oh, yeah, it was the Minotaur. It was a dig. Yeah, just, oh, wow. Not sure what happened there. It's too bad. All right, we've got one more race for you today. It is a winner's finals. Let me set that up real quick. And it's going to be the, wasn't the originally slated one. Uh, it's gonna be Tang versus Encrypted. And we're gonna get to that in a moment. Stay tuned. Thanks for being here, everybody. Hope you're enjoying the races. Thanks, Tic Tac, for doing some commentary. Appreciate that. Oh, it's great. It's fun. Yeah, I mean, I hate to say this, but I was really worried I was going to need to find a new commentator. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was kind of wondering, like, do I want to race in the finals or do I want to commentate the finals? <laughs> <laughs> Commentating's fun. We'll try. It's fun to <laughs> yeah, sit here and judge people. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get this up. Let's get this going. But don't think I reached my 10 commentator curse quota this season yet. Oh, no? So. 